Hi there, it's the Zen Crypto Queen, and I'm coming at you with long-term investing mindset information. We'll get into the mindset stuff, but we're going to talk about long-term investing for sure. Now, if you get any value out of this content, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get all my future videos sent right to you. And I want you to know this is not financial advice. Always do your own research. I'm just sharing what I do um, in the cryptocurrency world. We'll get into the long-term investing mindset part and about that as well. You can follow me on my Facebook page, Zen the Crypto Queen. Um, don't forget, in the description box, there is a link to a free webinar. All my links to all exchanges and wallets and ledgers are there. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one session with me if you have zero idea about what cryptocurrency is about at all. Um, I'm leaving this up on the screen right now because the full potential of blockchain is unrealized. So let's get into the long-term investing mindset. Uh, most of the time, and I don't care whether you want to invest in the stock market, uh, you know, and that, and you can include EFTs, mutual funds, anything you want to get involved with, uh, crypto, precious metals, all of it. Dollar cost averaging, which means I don't care if you want to put in 25 a week or if you want to put in 5,000 a month or if you want to do bi-monthly and put in $100. Whatever you have to put away in your long-term investing is dollar cost averaging. Just earmark it to do it, okay? Uh, the mindset, the long-term investing mindset involved in that is that if you're going to save money slash crypto slash precious metals for your future, you really need to be thinking uh, long-term. And in order to have a long-term investing mindset, you have to be clear on what your goals are. We'll get into that in a minute. Part of that is you have to take into consideration what is my risk factor? we have to get into risk management and tolerance. What's my personal tolerance level? How do I manage my risk? Well, we don't want to, while not losing money, uh, I highly suggest not looking at your portfolio daily as a lot of people are doing right now as the markets are kind of down at the moment or at best they're volatile. Uh, I don't really look, I look once a week. Next thing, take profits along the way, especially in the cryptocurrency world, I take profits along the way. I take at least my seed money out. Now, right now, things are, like I said, are a little volatile. I'm in long-term investing mindset mode where I just leave things as they are. Uh, the crypto that I have chosen, I see full potential. I've moved a lot of coins into the top 10 that I see potential for the future. And we'll get into that in a minute. Um, because this is a mindset for long-term investing, not short-term trading, not short-term staking. Everything that you're thinking about doing needs to be a five to 10 year plan. Even if you're in your sixties and that's, you know, part of the market that I would love to have people um, have a one-on-one -on -one session are, you know, baby boomers. They, because you're going to be around a long time uh, if, you know, mm, extenuating circumstances don't occur. Uh, people are living a lot longer. So even if you're 60 or 65 and you're about to retire and you think, well, I'm not thinking long-term, I need to start taking money out. Uh, you could do that out of your 401k or, you know, social security or both or whatever, but you can also save some of your money for your future because you're going to be around for a while, hopefully, right? Okay, so taking your profits along the way in crypto can be important. And the next part of that is consult your tax person and make sure they are savvy in cryptocurrency in when they answer your questions, okay? Because there are short-term capital gains, long-term capital gains, I can't get into that. I am not a tax professional. I deal with mine who does take regular classes on updating her skills. So I know that she knows the very latest in uh, crypto information. Okay. 
and always diversify your portfolio. I have never once said put all your money into cryptocurrency, okay? In fact, I would suggest 5 to 10% of your net worth in crypto, 5 to 10% of your net worth in um, precious metals, and then the rest, diversify that portfolio with whatever pleases you. I, don't, uh, I wouldn't go completely just stocks, but stocks, EFTs, uh, whatever suits your needs. And usually people have a financial planner for that. Now, this is not financial advice. I just share what I do. But if you go to a financial planner and ask them, what do you think about crypto? Usually they know nothing, nothing about crypto. Usually they don't recommend precious metals uh, because they're, they want to... Um, move you into products that they know about. And that would depend on your financial person, which is why I always use two or three of those for my fiat currency strategies, okay? Uh, let's see, and charts and predictability factors can also be a fair judgment. Um, I remember one person saying to me, well, how can you involve yourself in crypto when, uh, you know, there's, there's not enough chart history there. Well, Bitcoin has been around since 2009, which happened right after the great financial crash. So my long-term investment, investing mindset has been, uh, it's 12 years now, right? So I've taken profits along the way, um, some of them <laughs> much more than anything I have in stocks or anything else. And sometimes I just move them into other coins or other investments because I want to keep my money in movement, okay? So that comes down to, there's four other things I wanna talk to you about for your long-term investing mindset. And one of them I mentioned already. Please don't look at your stocks and, uh, or anything online where the stock index is every day when, it's, when the market is volatile as it is right now, you know, going up and down and dipping far and uh, you'll make yourself crazy and there's no need for it, especially if you're in a long-term investment mindset because those dips shouldn't mean anything to you until the day that you need to take money out. Now, I do feel for younger families, they're trying to stretch their dollars, you know, to take care of kids, gas prices, inflation. I mean, everyone is, but I feel for those people the most. Now, retirees that really are living off of their investment incomes, uh, and they have a smaller portfolio than most, uh, yeah, I feel for them at this point in time too because not only do they need more money to cover inflation costs, but they also are taking a dip in the market right now. Uh, but for everyone in between, your strategy, you have to come up with a, a long-term investment mindset that covers your long-term goals and their, your strategy for achieving them so that by the time that you're 65 or 70, you can start pulling money out and in addition to taking some profits should you get involved with cryptocurrency, okay? Number two is your risk management tolerance. I spoke about this just a couple minutes ago, but you really have to know what your risk uh, tolerance is out there it, because stocks, uh, you know, it's a volatile mar market with stocks as well as cryptocurrency. It just is what it is. They are highly, digital assets are highly volatile. So is the stock market. Uh, they work a little bit differently, but both are fairly volatile. So that's why I mentioned 5 to 10% in crypto, uh, especially over long term. And then, uh, well, I've mentioned it a couple of times. Number three is diversify that portfolio. So 5 to 10% in crypto, 5 to 10% in precious metals, the rest in whatever it is that you and your financial advisors, and I do suggest two or three, Get on the phone with them, talk to them about what products they have and w figure out what suits you and your savings dollars, okay? So that you can put some into uh, their management for long-term. And then number four, and I've been saying it, long-term investment mindset is the secret is long-term. We have to be thinking long-term. We're not putting 10 grand into Let's say you want to buy uh, a third of a Bitcoin today because it's going to go up to 30000 tomorrow. I'll pull out 20000 Please don't do that. You will drive yourself crazy. Again, back to dollar cost averaging. Put the money in. Pay no attention. Everything over long term 
usually makes money unless there's altcoins out there and that's why i have mine in um a certain pattern because there's a lot of them that are simply going to go away this is a fact there's over ten thousand altcoins out there many of them are projects that are very nice but a lot of them are going to go away they don't have full utility for the future for long-term investing okay so you need to, I've put out videos about how to research your altcoins, okay? If you want to know um, some strategies, if you want to know more about cryptocurrency, I do offer those one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, you can check out my free webinar. It's listed in the description below. And I think I'm going to wrap it right there. Always do your own research, but I can help you, okay? So... If you want to get in touch with me, fantastic. You could do that on Facebook or on Twitter. I'm XRP Zen Crypto Queen there. Or sorry, Zen at XRP Crypto Queen there. Uh, I mention XRP because XRP is um, going to replace SWIFT at some point in time when they wrap it with the SEC. And if you don't know what I even mean by that, you can ask me questions. Put it in the comments below. And thank you for spending your time with me. I truly appreciate it. Love you all. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for listening to Long-Term Investing Mindset Tips. Ciao.